Today, I figured that it has been a very long time since my last model train review. So this one's going to be kind of patriotic, I guess. That's right. I'm now the proud owner of an Amtrak Veterans P-42. Number 42. It's like 684 out of only 800 of these things made. Now, if you've been subscribed to my channel from like 2013 to now, you might remember my review on this locomotive. This one is basically the same, except the paint is different. Now, I'm still perfectly happy with this locomotive right here. However, I found this thing, like, I, I was scrolling through my YouTube subscription feed, right? Amtrak had posted a, a teaser about the this in, like, new Veterans P-42 models coming to N-Scale and HO scale And I just fell in love with it immediately, and I just had to get it. And for my 17th birthday, this is what I got as one of my presents. Very highly detailed. America's Railroad salutes our veterans. It is very good. It I, it reminds me of these old um, American 440s that ran during the transcontinental era. So, good job with designing this unit and track and the real life unit. As you can, oh, the truck's colors are a bit different. The ones on the 67 unit are actually more of a grayish color than the ones on the 42 unit. It's also to note that the 67 unit is um, it's older than the um, 42 unit. is. It was made about maybe 2011 or so, so this engine's probably like 5 years old or so. Still identical, they're, they're both the same train, a P-42, they're just different paint schemes. Now, in the last review, I quote-unquote accident, I accidentally quote-unquote crashed the train into my iPhone. <laughs> that was like my older iPhone, my old iPhone 4. So, for that matter, we're going to do the same thing here. We are going to crash this thing into the, um, oh, just got to get it lined up like that. Focus. <laughs> it operates very smoothly. It doesn't make that growling sound that the other one does. It runs very smoothly. Brace yourself. Oh, that was lame. That was lame. Let's try that again. This time, a little harder. Ah. Uh, okay, if, I'm, I'm, not right now. So this time I'm going to try a little harder. Whoops. Wrong direction. That's more like it. That's more like it. That is much more like it. So... The reason it kind of spun earlier is because my iPhone's not on a tripod, but it's on a tripod mount. <laughs> but yeah, that was more like it. <laughs> if you're curious about the other video, you can check it out right here. Now, it does have lights in both directions. As I... Assuming you saw it in the um scene where I crashed it and right there. 
It also has lights on the back. And yes, I am literally way too lazy to put the iPhone on the other side. I'm just going to turn the locomotive around. Like, no, no, naturally, it has the Bachman Easy Mate couplers. So let's crash the thing both ways. So we did one with the front, now let's do one with the back. Once we can get a focus. And I'm also going to put my phone up a little closer. Ready? Charge! Huh, I think that one was even better. Anyway, whoa, uh oh. Wrong direction. Uh oh. So yeah, I guess that will do it. Oh wait a minute, I'm just gonna drive it off the camera and then that'll be it. See if I can get it on track. <laughs> Whoa!